I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, does anyone have anything to add to the agenda? No one has anything to add to the agenda. These are yours. On the certificate. Um, no one has anything to add to the agenda. Motion to approve the agenda. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, does anyone have any public input? I do. I do. <laughs> Kitty. Please state your name for the record. Tell <laughs> me doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. This is it was, it was not a requirement. But I don't know. My name is Kitty Brown. <laughs> Hi, Kitty. It's very nice to see you all again, and it will be even nicer when I get to leave home. <laughs> um, so I'm taking an educated guess about why a discussion of open space is on your agenda tonight, based on the most recent Clean Water and Open Space Preservation Commission meeting minutes. But since their discussion was held in executive session, as recorded in their minutes, the commission upon motion duly made and seconded moved that the commission enter into executive session for the purpose of discussing a possible land acquisition, the disclosure of which would impact the value thereof. It would be good to know if public discussion really would have an impact on the value of the land. If, for example, the seller plans to sell some of the land to a town and develop another part, it's likely that discussions with potential developers have already taken place, and no harm would come of holding your discussions in public. My guess about the location of the property is largely based on Sea Wasp's June 11th meetings, where it says they are ready to share the Millbrook Preserve plan with Mayor West before showing the plan to the town. Assuming it is pretty much the same plan that we saw a draft of in 2010, you might want to defer any acquisitions until after you and the village and the public have reviewed the plan and adopted it. A few things of interest in the 2010 version, um, and it's 79 pages of beautifully written and researched documentation. On page 35, it talks about how to promote private and public stewardship to sustain the integrity of the habitats and biodiversity of the preserve. The key to this section is the word, and. We have seen too many projects in New Paltz and in New York State, for that matter, where the public-private partnership ends with the private partner getting a tax break and the public partner getting a permanent bill for management. So let's not forget the and in this section when we talk about conserving open space. On page 36, it says town and village planning boards should apply watershed protection methods during permitting of new development. This should include buffers and use of stream corridor easements to mitigate development. This seems like a really good thing to do right away and before any future land acquisitions. On page 39, it says the town and village of New Paltz should consider creating an overlay district within their respective zoning laws to be, I don't know how to pronounce this word, I don't know if it's coincident or coincident, <laughs> coincident uh, with the Millbrook watershed. This overlay would serve to elevate the importance of the proposed Millbrook Preserve. This seems like another good thing to do before any future acquisitions are contemplated. The plan also recommends creation of a Friends of the Millbrook to manage the preserve, much as the Rail Trail Association manages the rail trail. What we have learned in the 20 years since the Rail Trail Association was created is that when volunteers are responsible for managing a significant number of trails and water resources, they often don't have the money, expertise, or equipment to do the job. You have only to look at the ditches alongside both sides of the rail trail 
to know that solving the problem is far beyond the group or capacity of a group of volunteers. So again, if the project that is about to come before you, as contemplated in the um, CWAS minutes, is coming from a developer, please negotiate an endowment before you buy any land that would help fund stewardship. You are going to need far more money than a monitoring endowment to honor the recommendations of the preserve plan. Also, since much of the plan talks about recreational uses, I hope that the town and village will explore two very cost-effective ways of acquiring and managing recreational lands. One is through the recreation fees that are paid by a developer. So instead of using taxpayer money to buy the land from the developer, the developer pays you. That seems like a good deal. Another even better option is the conservation easement. The town pays for the easement, but the developer continues to own the land, funds an endowment, the land stays on the tax rolls, and the developer is responsible for management of the property. Just drive past the beautifully maintained Palmatier property, where a conservation easement was purchased with open space bond money to see a shining example of this approach. But for now, based on the new activity concerning the readiness of the Millbrook Preserve Plan, I would respectfully request that any acquisition actions that might concern the Millbrook Preserve be deferred until the town and village can review the plan and decide how to implement its recommendations. Thank you, Kitty. Kitty, would you like to submit your comments for the record? You know, I noticed a few typos. Okay. <laughs> so, correct those and I will. And if you can email it to us, that'd be yes. great. Uh, any other public? Uh, yes. And, and, Marty. Marty, you, you, you beat everybody. How you feel, Marty? Feel pretty good. Good. Pretty good. Great. <laughs> good. My name is Marty Irwin. Uh, I'm here chatting as the chair of the Water Open Space Protection Commission. And I probably wouldn't have except my friend Kitty had some comments. And uh, a lot of what she says it is something I think all of us, or many of us in CWAS, would also support that we look clearly and carefully at what it is that we might possibly acquire that had any relationship whatsoever to the Millbrook Reserve Plan. And I know that there was a question from maybe it was Jeff uh, wanting to know what the status of that plan was. So just to let everybody know, um, it is in its final editing um, by Seth McKee, who's one of our members, who was very instrumental in the creation of it in, in, in 10, 11 years ago, I think it was now. It's been a long time. Yeah, the, the final draft. Yes, but at the start of the effort to, to look at a Millbrook Preserve um, kind of project that, that goes back uh, quite a bit further before 2006, I think. Uh, so it, it will be um, reviewed at our August 20th meeting. We postponed our meeting one week to set the point of the notification. We expect it to be approved at that time. Um, Kitty observed that uh, Jason West had taken a look at it and been kind enough to invest a lot of time doing editing for us, what we discovered was he did not have the benefit of two other people's input. And without that, we felt like it really wasn't a, going to come up with a clear final product. So Seth said he would take Jason's comments and the other comments that missed getting forwarded to, to Jason and create the final one. So August 20th, we expect it will be finalized. Um, that will let us submit it to DEC. It was funded in part by grant money. Um, there's a little team that left over that, that we will collect $1,700 or something, I think. Um, so, so maybe, Jeff, that answer your query, and then it will be ready to present it to the town and to the village. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Ever? Ever, yeah.
uh, increase from last year, and we're supposed to be agriculture exempt and all that. Somebody isn't doing their job, and it should be checked out. Ira? Yes. What do you got? Um, I just want to express my appreciation to the Hyde Park Department for the work that they've done behind my development, which will hopefully alleviate the flooding situation in my development. A lot of my neighbors. A lot of my neighbors uh, yeah. are having their apartment, you know, we're having their apartments flooded. Um, a lot of damage being done. Um, we've been suffering in that particular area, um, which runs only to a certain point, with sewer overflow, garbage coming in, like the sewers, water overflow, and we saw that they were working on it, and I asked them what they were doing, they were saying they were trying to correct that water situation. And uh, I appreciate it primarily because I think it's being done at a time that will hopefully uh, not, a problem will not get exacerbated when Niffin builds his mini wall behind us and starts putting his sewerage through that pipe and his extra water and everything else. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, that's why I said thank him, because I'm looking at what's going to happen to where I live once the village approves is putting that little mini village I think downtown behind me with the traffic and flooding and everything else. So again, I just wanted to, as someone who was affected by it, uh, just express my appreciation for the fact that it was finally done. Thank you. And, and I, I do believe that's a village project. The Niffin land yes. will be a village project. Yeah, I know. But we are a interested party. Uh, when it comes to the planning board, so uh, it, with the village, because we're within 500 feet yards. I think it's 500 feet of feet. Seeing feet, yeah, I can't remember. It's 500 something, and so we will be monitoring that also. And Chris will be involved, whether he wants to be or not. Glad to hear that because so. we were told the residents who live there that we have no say in the matter. They will notify the landlord, who could really care less. They will not tell the residents. I asked them. They, they will not tell the residents who are going to be affected by it, who live in those new apartments what's going on. We want to know what's going on. We have to keep following it. But they will notify the landlord, and I know the landlord ain't going to tell us. <laughs> uh, we will keep monitoring well, it because you. we do not want to make the water or sewer any worse. Well, thank so, you very no, much. thank you. We will be keeping an eye on it. <laughs> Any other public comment? No, okay, uh, and I do. Uh, I, I do. Just, I did want to add one thing that was sitting here. Actually, is uh, just to add to the agenda very quickly. Be very quick. Is approval of a bid for mulch pur uh, purchase and approval of a bid for purchase of a water fountain for Moriello Pool. So moved. Uh, anyone second? Second. All in favor? Thank you. Yes. Uh, so the first one is to refer to maintenance vacant rental property law to the Ulster County Planning Board. Uh, all we have to do is forward it. So moved. Well, yep. do you think it's wise to forward it when in the minutes from the last meeting um, we're going to entertain discussion with landlords and tenants and it could change it enough that what we send to Ulster County Planning Board might be different? Well, you I want to send it twice? I, I wouldn't mind having them look at it now, and if there were minor adjustments, we could make them rather than waiting. Yep. And Dennis Doyle did look at the, the original. original draft. It's actually been changed a little bit, and he is seeing this law being done all about Ulster County. So I believe we, I would not be surprised if we are sending it up twice to Kevin's point. I, I, Gene, they may have some, some input too that we may have to recirculate back through the system as well, so mm -hmm. it might be useful. 
Yeah, I, I'm totally in favor of uh, sending it up now, but I would say that if when we come back with that subcommittee, there are additional changes I would want us to send okay. up the subcommittee. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and again, I think and in my conversation with Dennis, I actually had it here when he was here one day, is that this is something they're seeing come about frequently, and so I wouldn't be surprised if they had some edits that other communities have done that we would want to either include or something we may want to exclude. Okay. So that was a yes from everybody? Do we need a second? Formal? Actually, really. Referral? You know, just a referral? I think Kevin moved in. There you go. Okay, second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Okay, uh, open space by, uh, bond and land acquisition. Uh, this was put on thinking we were going to have a little bit more to work on. Uh, so we do appreciate the comments of Kitty and Marty. We appreciate you coming. Uh, we really don't have a lot to move on. Uh, there is a couple pieces of property that CWOSP is, has on their radar. Uh, one of the pieces though definitely has uh, some pieces that we need to look at. And Kitty, we are sensitive to also that we will have to look in to see if this is something that's going to need more public input. Uh, I think at the very least, and everyone else feels, I definitely would not want to revisit this property, though, it, until we get a management plan for it to see how this fits in with the piece and then and I think that how we can afford Chris Marks to be up there maintaining it. And I also think, too, that um, we should just be mindful of this discussion and whether it should be in public or not. I know a number of this has been executive session material. I'd just like to make sure that it truly is executive session material as well. Absolutely. And yeah, as you saw, there's some, you know, the controller opinion and our attorney sent out some information on that. And I think we do need to discuss some of that, you know, in public prior and then get some legal advice. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry, we don't have a lot more on open space bond land acquisition. Kitty, you can actually be home before 8 o'clock. Well, I guess that's my cue. <laughs> you're, you're welcome to stay, but uh, yeah, there's not a lot of excitement here for you. Marty, you too. Thank you very much. But Marty, it's great to see you walking without a cane. It's great too. Yeah, it's good. Now this is novel, Kitty. It is, right? I know. One beautiful Have a good evening. Good night, Kitty. Good night, Marty. It's good morning. Uh, the establishment of uh, Escrow accounts, if, uh, if, the, if, if the board so pleases, I can do, uh, we have three of them that we need to establish, and can I just list all three in the dollar amounts? Yep. And then I will be giving uh, the resolutions to our clerk to then put into the record. Everyone good with that? Sounds good. Uh, the first one would be for Diamond Car Wash. Uh, they did pay their $400 application fee. Uh, they have bills that right now that are about $500, which would be uh, outside of the application fee. Uh, what they have asked for is for uh, a $3,000 escrow account with a $1,500 replenishment trigger. Mm -hmm. The next one is extra space storage. Uh, the extra space, because of certain modifications, are doing extra space. They actually had a $2,200 application fee which would seem rather large, uh, but if anyone wants to go look at it in the planning office, uh, it has to do with the size of what they're doing, and it's based on square footage, so they knew that going in. Uh, we're asking to set a $1,000 escrow account. Uh, we have not put a replenishment amount on that because we believe that will be all that's required. This will probably be approved within the next two meetings. So that we're asking for a $1,000 on extra space storage. The last one is Novellas, which uh, for those of you that don't know, that would be the catering hall that is being rebuilt behind what will soon be the Hampton Inn, the new hotel coming to New Paltz. Uh, they have about $500 in expenses uh, that will be billed very shortly, uh, so they're asking for a $1,500 and a $750 replenishment. Does anyone have any comments or anything they'd like to make on any of the escrow accounts? No. no. I think they're too long. The recommendation came from our building department and also uh, with recommendations from the engineer and the attorney. Gene, what would you like That's to see? Yeah, and, I, and we are happy to, I am happy because to Because ultimately they end up, um, your, the legal fees and the engineering fees end up exceeding these thresholds. So. Potentially, what I could see happening, let's just say hypothetically, diamond, right? 
so they have a, a fifteen hundred dollar threshold for reimbursement you know that they'll fall below it they won't pay it and we're stuck in a position that we're stuck in with um, a different escrow that we already have and that's the only problem I have with setting them lower because if you set them higher you can always just hand over their money it's not like we you know spend their money no problem with this but at all so our bills also come in after the fact 30 days in air yes. so would you like on diamond car wash would like to increase the trigger amount well no not without discussion with Stacy so well this I is in discussion it, with Stacy I know yeah, so. But, so then I guess that you want to set them at these but it's my opinion that we want to, we want to aim at higher escrows. I mean, I'm happy to have another discussion with her or increase them right here at the table. Right. None of these are hard and fast rules. The trigger on the first one, mm -hmm. the way it operates is if, it, if the account falls below 1500 they have to deposit back up to 3000 yes? Yes. Okay, yeah. so I'm okay with number one. Number two, extra space storage Jeff do you know anything about that product? yeah that's actually probably uh, it's actually a modification to the space uh, and, and most of it is with photo uh, voltaic Dan say the word photovoltaic thank you very much uh, being put on so that's why the high application fee it's based on the size of it and the thousand uh, dollars will probably actually end up refunding some of that because this probably will be approved with if not the next meeting for the planning board the one after okay. So that will be approved very quickly. So their quickly. application fee was so high because of solar panels? Uh, it was just a calculation. It's a calc Based on the square feet, they're probably changing. So it's just a formula. It's exactly. That's how exactly that number came up. So I'm okay with that one, too. <laughs> number three, Novalis, what are they, what are they doing? Uh, they're doing a lot of modifications to it, a lot of modifications. They're actually almost all exterior modifications. Uh, most of it is adding on some extra parking, putting on, well, I apologize, not adding on, uh, rehabbing some of the parking, putting on some trim on it, redoing the shrubbery and whatnot all about it. There's very little interior work being done. So on that one, you established 15 with 750 as a, as a minimum. Gene, do you, do you have any input on that one? You want to? I think it's too low. Okay, so what do you think? And again, don't. No, the... What would you recommend? Um, it's a lot of modifications to the building, right? Yes. And it's they want to make it nice because yep. the, the hotel, the hospitality, and or whatever is coming in. Yep, Hampton Inn. Okay, yep. the Hampton. Yep. Um, I just think that they're going to end up doing a lot of modifications. Uh, there's going to be a lot of zoning changes. It's going to be a lot of uh, give and take with uh, the engineer. I didn't give me a number. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I mean, so just say right now uh, but they've been I to. I said five, and your five, applicants five may not agree with that. Uh, it, the, they get refunded anything we don't spend. I know, but they may not have it to give you. They have it. They uh, are also, the principals are also uh, the principals of McGillicuddy's in town, too. They are, yes. So they've been in town for a long time. So do um, you, you have a compromise number? You want to say? You want to say 3 and 15? That would, that Consistent would be fine. with number one? You want to do that? Yeah. Sold. So I move that uh, that we approve the establishment of escrow accounts for the three uh, applicants that we've just discussed with the thresholds that we just discussed. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, the uh, let's see. Is this the filming contract? This is no. This is half a yogurt. Which I don't know. Did they stick that in there for half you? Half a yogurt is 
filming. Yeah, filming. filming. Yeah. We have but two different filming ones. Can you, you see tell that? Me yeah. what the okay. are? So they moved the location today. They actually. Have the yogurt moved? I, I thought. Uh, that was it Duck he- Road originally? It was I believe that's that not was. Half yogurt. No, that's half the yogurts in the village. Park okay. Pictures is the one that actually is adding and modifying. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. On the half a yogurt. Can you just tell me what half a yogurt is? Half a yogurt is the name of the production company. Uh, what they're doing is. Contracting for police services for one of their shoots, right? Can yes, uh, they're going to be filming on South Oakwood, Oakwood Terrace and Platico Avenue. Uh, and then they will be going on to the <laughs> South Oakwood. And it will not take. They do not expect it to uh, go past uh, midnight. They're going to be filming from 7 p.m. I think on the left, but 7 p.m. at night to 12 a.m. in the morning, and it should not go past uh, midnight. They don't expect there to be any disruption to the residents. Uh, they pay for the uh, police that will be used for it. And then they also pay an extra, I believe it is uh, 9%, which is. 9.4. Thank you, 9.4%. Okay. To cover any of our expenses in processing the fees for the police. So I also see that they are required to post significant insurance. Yes. So I'm going to move. Did you receive that yet? Any insurance stuff? I didn't. You didn't have that. I move that we authorize the. Uh, Deputy Supervisor to execute the contract on behalf of the town, consistent with the terms set forth in the proposed contract for traffic control services for half a yogurt productions, LLC. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Done. The other one is also. Now, Park Pictures, you said all they did was change the location. They actually. Yeah. It was Doug changed, Rule, right? They, they actually yeah, changed. I read a different version. I read the. Uh, they actually changed some of their locations. That's that's. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll let you. You can leave when you want to leave. We'll finish this. Yeah. Uh, they actually, actually, as of late of today, I don't believe they are reflected in any of the emails. Uh-huh. As actually. This is the updated contract. Uh, same contract, same fees. Uh, I, although I do believe they uh, added. They want to add Butterfield Thank between you. the dead end and Route 299, Climb Hill between Doug and Town and Morningstar. It would be just one, oh, I guess one of those. Right. So out of the three locations, they actually went out with our lieutenant today looking at locations. Uh, and some of the people may not even realize that anything's going on because they may be actually just shooting the footage out of a moving vehicle. And they'll see a film vehicle, but these are all for ads. I don't know what for. Joe replied to that email and said, um, provided that the chief and the department are agreeable, the town could adopt the resolution, have the agreement signed as is, if there is to be a change, the change locations could be inserted in, and the changes initialed by the chief and park pictures. As long as the changes are initialed by both parties, the agreement will be binding upon all parties. As well. So you can you can adopt it, you can sign it, and then whatever the changes are in terms of the roads, just be changed and initialed by the police. And <coughs> So the police department was fine with these changes, is what you're saying? Absolutely. Okay. So I move that um, the town board authorize the deputy supervisor to sign a contract for traffic control services um, for Park Pictures LLC under the terms of the proposed contract uh, with a caveat that the locations may be amended by agreement of the parties subsequent to the execution of the agreement um, and that um, and that, um, that the board approve the terms and conditions of the uh, proposed contract. So moved. Mm-hmm. Or second, I apologize. 
I have a question. Yep. Is this park picture supposed to be the Black Rock contract? Yes. Yes. Well, okay. It's Black then Rock. Why does it say Black Rock and park use fee? I didn't see anything in the original Indeed. contract that I read about any park use. Do you want or to any fee? The agenda? Well, it's Refresh. on the agenda. I know, but there is isn't. Yeah. Tell me why. I believe just the locations on there. I believe they moved. The locations are on the, the the contract itself. The email from today talked about omitting omitting Doug Road and Pine Road and substituting Elliott's Lane. So that's the latest that I read this afternoon. And, and there's the, no parks there. Well, the park no the, roads. the park use fee was at one point when we originally made this agenda. I believe last week, uh, the reason it was put on was because there was talk of using part of the rail trail. And I do not believe, Roseanne, I believe the rail trail has not been listed since then. I don't see it in the contract. Yeah. About yeah, they the had originally made mention of using the bridge on the, of the rail trail, which is uh, a town park, and oh, that okay. has not shown up again in any of the contracts that they provided to us. Okay. And they did not ask the lieutenant to see that today. So apparently they have decided not to use the rail track. All in favor? Question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Parades and events. Has everyone looked at parades and events? I have. I'm sure you have. And Kevin, do you want to give us anything we should know about the parade and event application form since this is near and dear to your heart? Oh, I, I, I'm familiar with it. The one thing uh, I do like is that you were able to get one of my dreams come true. Your dream come true. It is one it'll or two be, pages. It'll be front and back. Unfortunately, it took a uh, a font of six to do it. It did. It, but that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's front and back. I, I really have I can do that without. And then there's an internal form. That yes. Will, it's a one-page internal form. Yes, it is. Yep. Right, okay. So. Yes, but who over the age of thirty can read it? <laughs> I wanted to keep it to one page. <laughs> and I appreciate your efforts. Uh, the reason it could be decreased to a, a true one page in a 12 font, but uh, then we wouldn't have the parade routes. So I, I like the parade routes being pre-planned. Gene, do you have any other questions on it, though? I don't have any questions on it at all. Thanks, Gary, for coming. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Do you want to go ahead and approve it tonight, or do you want to just, do you have something you want to add to it, or do you want to? I don't have anything I want to add to it. I don't ever want to talk about parks again in my life. This is parades. parades. I don't want to talk about parades either. Do you want to be in a Thank parade? you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Do you want to uh, I'd like to move for me to adopt the form. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor of approving the parade event application form? Thank you, Kevin Berry. Aye. 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 That was easy. Uh, I don't I'll think make a motion to approve the turkey truck and the hospice. And the hospice 5K. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, the only other two things in real. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of July 17th. You are awesome. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah, I had, what was it, uh, July 17th and June 26th? I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes from um, July 26th, so June 26th. Second. Uh, uh, Kevin, you were absent from that one. Yes. All in favor? I read that. Aye. Aye. You can Stay. still, you still can vote, right? I'm So then the motion fails? No. 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 Three. There's three of us. Oh, there's three of us, yeah. No, no, he's fine, remember? <laughs> you okay? Uh, we also just need to do the budget modifications. Gene, did everyone get a copy of that? It was in your mailbox, actually. I want to thank Gene and Susan, and I want to especially thank Arlene. They were in here, and also Rachel. Susan uh, and Arlene and Rachel. And Rachel spent, uh, I have been with her for two days, her and Arlene working on these budget modifications. This is all to make 2013 budget. Closed. We are very close to getting our 2013 completely closed. Uh, if you look at that, Kevin, you'll see it's an increase and decrease. If anyone needs any definitions of any of the budget lines, I do have it. My working copy here. If you have any questions, comments? 
Uh, while Gene is looking that over, I uh, just want to make a couple quick announcements. Uh, the first one would be tomorrow will be record keeping day at Town Hall. So the Town Hall will be, will be open, but we uh, will not be doing any business in Town Hall except for record keeping day, which is the filing of records, Manager. mandatorily filing of records, Manager. management of records, the putting of records away, the storing of them, the archiving of them. Uh, so we will be closed tomorrow at Town Hall and the courts will also be closed tomorrow. The staff will be all in though and they will be taking care of the records. Uh, also to remind everyone, on the 29th, I believe the fair opens. Oh, yeah. So the Ulster County Fair will be opening on July 29th, and I believe that runs through August 3rd, which is Sunday. Does that sound correct? I believe August 3rd. Yeah, that's right. I believe Sunday is the closing night, and this is the last uh, county fair before the state fair in Syracuse. So Ulster County still has that. So if you see fireworks, that's what they're from. Any other announcements? Anybody? Anyone? Dan? Good. Anyone? Uh, while Gene's still looking at that then is we have a uh, verbal worksheet. We did already approve this. This is for uh, play, uh, certified playground mulch for Moore Yellow Pool. Uh, it is for 100 yards. There are three bids, one for $24, one for $47.50, and I, I apologize, this is per yard, and one for $31 per yard. Guess it's easy to figure that one out, right? These are all from Repo, and we have it here. Anyone need to see the bids? Uh, yeah. like, what kind of mulch is it? That would be certified playground mulch. Do you have certified playground mulch that you can provide to us? That doesn't sound good, because something's missing. Which word? The word certified, playground, or mulch? Playground. They put certified playground, and the mulch is the worst thing in the world. That's why it's certified. Okay. We'll send someone to jail for it. Uh, so I'd like to make a... It's not yeah. mulch. Dirt mulch. It's mulch. It's not dirt mulch. I didn't say dirt mulch. It's a special mix. It's mulch. No, it's playground mulch. I agree, and it's, it's certified. It's not dirt mulch. I didn't say it was dirt. You don't. It's not mulch that you put around your rose bushes. Is it's this the playground this mulch. Is I think that was cushioned mulch. Yes. Okay. Certified yes. playground cushioned mulch. This is going to be on page one of the post tomorrow. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so I would like to make a motion that we accept a bid uh, from Devitts in New Windsor at $24 a yard for the purchase of 100 yards of certified cushioned playground mulch. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That was more kind. That was more complex than needed to be. Thank you. Right. You don't want to stay for the discussion of the concrete pedestal. It, has to go. it looked really bad. You need a new one. Well, it's not there, so we have no choice. Uh, this is also was approved by the joint board, so we'll be splitting this cost with the village of New Paltz. Uh, this is for a concrete pedestal drinking fountain that uh, broke and needs to be replaced at Moore Yellow Pool. Uh, we received three bids, one for $2,000 and $2,095, one for $2,510, and one for $2,539. So, Chris, is there any reason why we shouldn't go with the cheapest version? Uh, this is a direct replacement for its twin. Okay. But they're on the, the lower end. Okay. So actually, the TAPCO, which is the lowest bid, also does happen to be the one that most readily matches the concrete pedestal drinking fountain that we have there. It's a concrete fount fountain with uh, exposed aggregate on the exterior of it. It is ADA compliant and it is also fairly easy to winterize it. Uh, the last one was broken. Our, our best guess is it was vandalized, unfortunately. So we're going to approve this and then the village has to approve and it? And we, no, we, they've already approved it. This was approved in our, our okay. yeah, their contribution. So we would each be splitting uh, $1,047.50 if my math is right. Jeff, are you going to move that? I move that we purchase the lowest bidder, which is TAPCO, for in the amount of $2,095 to be split with the village of New Paltz. Second. 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Chris, for doing all this work. And is Jean ready? Um, well, I will they up, but... I, I will, if you would like to go through them more, I'd be happy to do anything. We're going to have to have a special meeting because we would like to be able to, next week we have the bookkeeper coming in again, we'd like to be able to try to completely close our AUD. And we need this to do the AUD, to complete the AUD. And, and I'm the and, one who said I would do the modifications before I file the AUD because I have a specific reason why I would do the budget modifications before filing the AUD. Absolutely. So, we concur with your recommendation. Make I make a motion that we uh, approve the budget transfers to close up the 2013 budget as attached to as submitted, as submitted by the bookkeeper. Second. Any questions, Kevin? No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, oh, these are A, B, D, A, D, B. No special districts on them. Correct. We have more work to do. We have a lot of work to do, as I discovered over the last 72 hours. Yes, special districts are a big one. Uh, is there any other uh, warrants, prepays, or budget transfers, modification anyone has? Motion to adjourn. Second? Aye. All in Aye. favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Told you. I know. You thought I was joking, huh? No. It, I knew it would be short. There's no Yankee game on it. No, I'm serious. That's, no. that's how we get short meetings. No. no Yankee game? There's, they played this no. afternoon. They played this afternoon.